Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new episode of Face Off Friday. We've got a good one for you today. We've got jumbo boxes of 2018 Top Series 1 versus 2022 Tops Series 1. And I think this is going to be interesting, not only from the rookie hunt that is before us, but we're also going to be taking a close look and a visual representation, I guess, I'd like to lay out on the line as well, of all the parallels that we find in each. Now, I will be keeping track of the best cards. We'll see which card is the, or which box is the best. I'm going to bet you right now this box, oh, I don't know. Hmm, now that I think about it, I'm think. oh man, I'm going to go with this one. It's going to win. Now, here's what caused me to, you know, second guess myself. There's no silver packs in these. There are silver packs in these. These silver packs are pretty, pretty valuable. They're going for, I think, $25 a piece on eBay. Now, the big difference between the boxes, besides the price, this is $275, almost $300 after tax and shipping on Steel City and Blowout cards. This, under $200 on eBay. If you want to grab one of these, probably about $200 after tax. But there are really eight standout rookies you can find in this and we'll go over those and there's only one rookie to look for in this that everyone knows that already it's wander franco so another big difference is there's really really tough odds of pulling anything in in 2022 tops in terms of parallels or numbered cards and there's a much better chance than this we'll take a look at that today as we uh, kind of line up all these cards on the screen so let's go ahead and get started our sponsor for this face off friday is tim m Thank you very much, Tim, for your sponsorship. If you would like to sponsor a video like this one or any of our breaks, we're doing a Saturday showdown again tomorrow. Make sure you sign up on Patreon. It is $4.99 per month. We have two different um, two different memberships. We've got the YouTube channel membership from YouTube. There's a link in the description there. That's for our members only time during our auctions. We had a great auction last night with Justin Harris's cards. And guess what, folks? He says he's got more on the way, probably within a month or so. So um, looking forward to that. And then we've got the Patreon membership as well. Link in the description to get you access to all of our breaks like this one or, in, or the Saturday showdowns or the new release breaks and stuff like that. Uh, you can also just Google Join Jabs Family Patreon to uh, find that. So let's go ahead and get started. We have 2022 Top Series 1. Which we will begin with this. Oh man, Wander Franco is on the top. A box topper of Wander right there. We've got our silver packs as well. And now let's also rip this open at the same time. 2018. We'll take a close look to start things off with the pack odds here. All right, so for the pack odds... In 2018, let's just take a look at the gold. One in every four packs has a gold card. One in every uh, vintage stock, for example, one in every 71. In 2022, those odds get much worse to one in every 12 have a gold card. Vintage stock, I don't even see it on here. It's got to be on there somewhere, but it's going to be much, much harder. Oh, oh, there it is. It's just one in 241 packs instead of the previously one in every 71. So... Man, they really, really upped the print runs. That's why it's going to be much harder to find anything of value in terms of parallels. All right, let's run down the rookie list. 2018, you've got Ozzy Albies, Harrison Bader, Walker Buehler, Raphael Devers, Max Fried, Reese Hoskins, Alex Verdugo, Brandon Woodruff. In 2022, you've got Wander Franco. But it's all about Wander Mania, as you well know. We are still looking for the Wander short prints. I haven't found any yet. I have not found a Wander gold card. We're going to try again today and also tomorrow. So here we go, folks. I do like the jumbos because there are three hits per box. One autograph, one relic. There's Salvi Perez. And um, there's Miguel Andujar, former, you know, nice rookie. Brandon Woodruff goes in my good rookie pile. Clint Fraser, nice one as well. We've got Eric Davis. We, already we have a Michael Franco gold card. That's a parallel. Ian Kinzer, rainbow foil. We've got Dansby Swanson right there, an 83 card. I don't know if I should take the rainbow foils out or not because they're kind of all things considered they're equal. I think it's one in every two have the silver foil packs. And then there's Johnny Cueto, Nolan Arenado, Dexter Fowler. We've got David Dahl in there as well, Troy Tulowitzki and Alex Wood. All right, so, so far first pack, nothing too crazy. Maybe I'll go back and forth. How about that? Switch it up a little bit. Right now, I have the uh, the parallels on the screen for you. 
Oh man, with this, it's basically, we've already opened this <laughs> a lot, so I'll get right to the good stuff, which is going to be at the end. I don't think any base card is going to make my top list, except for the Wander Franco and maybe Lars Newtbar, good old Nudy. Everyone knows that I like him, just because of that crazy name. All right, so no Wander, but we do have a Jake Berger short print in there. That's pretty awesome. That's definitely going to go in the good pile for 2022. We've got our silver foil, and then a couple inserts there as well next pack up back to 2018 already a gold card on the board no autograph yet in either there's some mookie bets i really love the design of 2018 tops i think it's i think it's awesome i think it's one of the best ones in recent memory uh, probably out of the last five years it's my favorite there's aaron judge and we've got the aaron judge gold cup card and we've got the reese hoskins rookie card there's austin hayes richard urania so there's Roy Halladay, and look at this. We get a Miguel Sano. That's not a numbered card, but it's a nice black and white card. Trey Turner, 83. Brett Gardner diving in there. I have to apologize if I miss a short print. I have not seen these in a long time. Gardner possibly could be a short print, but I'm not exactly sure. Typically, I'll know if it's a short print just because I'm used to seeing the card image. And if it's a different image than the one I'm used to seeing, then I know. All right, next up, let's go ahead and do... I guess I'll just keep going down the, the line here with the second pack up of Jumbo. And see what we can find in this. Looking for Wander again. If you're saying, hey, slow down a second. Well, we have other videos where we go very, very slow. The new release preview videos, I always go super slow for you. And we look at all of them. There's our manufactured patch. It is going to be a Vlad Jr. You get a gold foil card in here as well. And flashiest feet. So I guess uh, the gold foil will consider that a parallel. Next up. Back to 2018. Still no autograph in either one of these jumbos. Got a couple nice rookies already out of 2018. Really nothing base card wise at all from 2022 yet. But as you know, we're going to get a wander more than likely. This, that's just the way it goes. There's the manufactured patch there, Yon Moncada. I got to say that the 2022 box wins that one, Eric Hosmer. I wonder if that's a short print. I don't think it is. Just trying to look at the back real quick. There's Verdugo rookie card, another nice one in the top eight of this. Um, and Denilson Lament last one there. All right, we're back to the next side of the stack. Got a straw man on the back, and look at this. 2022, doing pretty well so far. It's holding up. It's got an icy green parallel at the back, which is nice. Those are out of, I think, is it $4.99 or $3.99? It might be neither. Let's check it out. I've got another... Um, upside down card. Oh, that's the icy parallel. It is out of 499, Connor Wong. So we've got three parallels so far. Make it four with the Mike Trout and Shelly Otani. The greatest hits they're all with that uh with that complexion, so to speak. Nice set for sure. Back to 2018. Still no autograph in either. There's Mike Fultonavich who's kind of fallen into uh the abyss. Went to Texas. Not kind not kind of uh I don't want to call him a decent player anymore, but kind of falling off the face of the earth, out of off the radar, I guess is what I'm looking for. Another gold card, Andrew Elton Simmons, numbered out of 2018, already two gold cards. We might not find a single gold card in any of our packs. There's a Chase Utley. That one is, I um, don't think it's a short print. Eric Hosmer, back again. There's Nick Williams. I think he went over to play in uh, Japan, if I'm not mistaken. All right, nothing else in there. Back to 2022. Still looking for an autograph in either of these. We've got Chris Bryant on the back, Ian Kennedy on the front. As we see, if Brandon Marsh just popped up there. He might be the second best rookie, but I would probably put Brandon Marsh behind most of the 2021 rookies. 2021 rookies. There's no major stars, but there's good there's good rookies in there with uh, good potential potential future all-stars but uh, there's nobody like Wander Franco we've got another gold foil card it's going to be JD Josh Donaldson generation now and Chris Bryant in there as well I, I gotta tell you right now I think the 2022 box is winning this it's going to come down to the autographs the 2022 box currently has that Wander Franco really 
helping them out. That big old box topper, as you saw back in 2018, you can get those little extra couple frills. No silver packs in there, no box topper. All right, let's see what else we've got. There's a black, a Craig Kimbrell, Kimbrell out of 299, another parallel, so three numbered cards already. And from this, we've got two, I think. No, check that. We've got one. It's the out of 399. I think I may have just seen a stink bug. It's automatically got the willies, as my um, my grandma would say. There's Walker Bueller rookie card. Another good one on the set. Rookie list, checklist, so to speak. Still no autograph in neither. Here's the uh, official halfway point of the 2022 box. See what we can find in here. Acuna was in there. Patrick Wisdom getting a gold cup card. We got Will Smith. Kirilov. And we have our autograph. It's going to be Jake Myers. Not a big time hit. It is numbered though out of 199. So a Jake Myers. Probably going to make our top list here. And nothing else there. Silver foil, I guess I'll toss that in there. We'll count that as a parallel. So right now, I mean, the parallels are better in 2018 because we've already got three numbered cards. I don't really think the silver parallels or the gold foil parallels are all that exciting. They used to be a little more exciting back in the day when there was news that there was only 700 of each parallel made. And here we go. There's a Bellinger gold cup card, and we've got the Max Freed rookie card. I like that one a lot. Harrison Bader rookie card is another good one. Cal Ripken Jr., from the Legend set, Hosmer, a Joey Gallo silver foil parallel. Victor Robles rookie card. Another Verdugo. That's two Verdugos. Eight decent rookies. Uh, some of you guys might, you know, say some of these other guys are, are decent rookies too. Guys like maybe like Austin Hayes or Miguel and Duhar, guys you haven't really given up on yet. All right, back to 2022. We've got Ronnie on the back, Ronald Acuna Jr. Let's see what else we can find in here. Spencer Turnbull. Anyone else try to put together a whole set of um, 2022 tops after watching our live stream on Wednesday night? That was really fun. We'll have to do that again sometime. Got it all done from one box, just barely. Home Run Challenge, Robbie Grossman's in there. Foil card. And there's Ronald Acuna Jr. Still no autograph from 2018. That'll be coming soon. We got Jean Carlos Stanton on the back. There's Ichiro. I hope we can get a nice big hit. And not, also, we're still missing the relics. There should be a relic. Hopefully, they're game used relics for both. Dennis and Lamette. Three gold cards already, folks. There's a silver foil. So, as expected, the parallels are much, much better. Some of you are going to say, I don't really care about the parallels. And some of you don't care about the parallels. And that's fine. But it's just something you should be aware of. That the print runs much higher this year. A lot of folks buying cases upon cases or boxes upon boxes of 2022. They're just on the uh, Chasing the Mick hunt, which I've not found yet. And we're there on the Wander Franco hunt looking for those short prints and super short prints. And here he comes, folks. Anytime you see Zimmerman, you'll see Corbin Burns, then you'll see Wander. There he is, the Wander Franco base card, the number one card in the set. Basically, the only base card really worth giving a hoot about. To continue to use these old timer phrases. And we've got our relic. It is going to be a Corey Seeger. It is game used. So a nice Corey Seeger. Another foil card, gold foil card, and Tatis. So we've got three packs left in each. A couple bonus packs there of those 20, uh, 22 silver packs. I think right now, honestly, I'd rather have the base cards from. There's another Max Freed, two Max Freed rookie cards, Harrison Bader as well. I'd rather have the base cards from 2018, like all these good rookies. And there's the hit. It's going to be the Relic. Ryan Braun, numbered out of 50, game used. So what would you rather have, Corey Seager or Will Smith? Or Corey Seager or Ryan Braun? For me, I'm probably going to say I'd probably rather have the Braun just because it's numbered out of 50. If all things were equal, I'd probably go with the Corey Seager since he still plays. Ryan Braun had a great career. Probably will be someday in the, the Brewers Team Hall of Fame. Never going to be a, a National Baseball Hall of Fame guy. But I had a good career, Ryan Braun, despite it being marred by his 
uh, testosterone slash PED usage in 2011 where he won the MVP award and it came out that he was juicing. And then everyone hated him. We got a Rugio door right here. Silver foil, Mike Schmidt and Vladdy in there as well. Back to 2018. I'll tell you what, the, the silver packs are going to possess the key. We might have a couple of the top five cards from the silver packs. There's Mike Trout. Mike Trout always goes in the maybe pile. There's There we go. Raphael Devers and Ozzy Albies back to back. I think we've hit all eight good rookies, if I'm not mistaken, from this product. There's another Nicometa. And we've got a short print of Jose Abreu. Short print of Abreu right there. Let's see if we can hit one more Walker Bueller. I'd like to hit it like a Jack Flaherty. I totally forgot about Flaherty. So that's nine decent rookies in this. I, yeah, I totally missed him when I was... Jogging my memory of who was in this. Next pack up. Oh, man. I saw the shortstop there. I was hoping I was going to say Wander. Get a nice 87 card of Wander. Randy Rose ran a gold cup card. Vidal Brujan in there as well. There's the Wander with Vladdy. It's, I don't think that card's all that valuable. It's a cool card, but we have a gold card finally. Our first gold card of the entire box with Jazz Chisholm and Frankie Lindor. We've got... A Connor Wong. Now it's down to the last pack of each, folks. You can let me know in the comments which box you think was the ultimate winner here. Um, I will take a look at the, look at it, and uh, right now it's kind of close. I I think the base cards. There's Brandon Woodruff rookie card. That's a good one. Base cards definitely better, and we've got Drew Smiley on card auto as our autograph in the last pack. Some last pack magic, Drew Smiley. So, one autograph per box. Neither auto that we found was particularly super valuable. I guess there's probably a little more potential for the 2022 auto to increase in value down the line. With it being numbered and a rookie. Alright, here's our last pack. Then we'll do the silver packs and then we'll try to sort it all out and decide which box was better from these jumbo boxes. Definitely jumbo's the way to go. If you're going to buy some 2022 tops, buy a jumbo box. I've noticed that these, they, like I said, they have been spiking in value. The hobby boxes are largely unchanged. I noticed my LCS raised the jumbo price up $55, but they did not change the hobby box price at all. Got a giant, um, like, skyscraper of cards right here. I'm going to move this off to the side and get those sleeved up a little bit later. All right, now we just have the silver packs, and we'll decide which was better. From these two, our first silver packs, we have Max Freed, Goldschmidt, Donaldson, and Perez. I don't know if any of those will make my top list. And in the other silver pack, we have Luis Robert. You know Luis Robert's probably going to be at least in my top five. No decent rookie cards. Rodolfo Castro for the Buccos was a rookie in that one. But um, all right, so first off, let's take a look at the parallels. From 2022, you got all these foil cards. I'm not a big fan of the foil cards. I don't really even consider them to be, uh, you know, anything of much value. So we got two numbered cards in the entire box, all right, from that. And, you know, the parallels were kind of nice, I guess, if you want to put the set together. The only one worth maybe any money is the Shohei and Mike Trout. And from the other side of the box, 2018, we had one, two... Um, three and four, so double the number of numbered parallels. All right, now let's uh, go ahead and break it down and see what we've got, Tim. For your 2022 box, the Wander Franco oversized box topper is definitely a contender there. I think I'm going to have to go with your, it's pretty crazy here, but your base Wander is probably going to beat the autograph in terms of its value. I'm going to go with the box topper number two. I'm going to go with the autograph number three. Number four, I'm going to go with the Jake Berger short print. Usually those are worth $5 or 5 to $10, depending on who it is. And last but not least, I've got to go with the game used jersey at number five. All right, so that is what I'm laying out as the top five cards from the 2022 box. Apologies to the Mike Trout foil and Shoya Otani. It might actually be worth more than that relic, but that's what I'm going to go with. Now, from the 2022 or 2018 box, i got to go with the Smiley at number one just barely over the Jose Abreu short print. And then from there, it gets a little interesting. Oh, man. Lot, there's so many good rookies. That's the thing. There's all these decent rookies. I got a stack of, like, 20 decent rookies 
from this. I think next up, I'm going to have to go with, oh man, I gotta go with, do I go with Devers? Al, Devers and Albies I would put near the top and Max Freed and Walker Bueller. where do I go? I guess I'm gonna go with Devers at three. Um, I'm gonna go with probably, I gotta probably put the Braun at three, then the Devers, and then I'll go, man, that's that's tough. I'm gonna go with the Walker Buellers number five. Max Freed and Ozzy Albies, great, 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 great players. And they were in the consideration there. Probably like five B and five C if I was ranking them out. So there's all the cards. What box do you think won? Once we line them up like that, folks, I don't think it's much question. I gotta say that the 2022 box was the winner. Um, it's a fun rip, 2022 Tops Jumbos, but those 2018s, don't forget about them. They're fun to rip, too, with all those good rookies in there. You got a shot at maybe finding a gold or parallel of one of those nice rookies from 2018. So that was our quick little breakdown of 2018 versus 2022 Jumbo Edition. If you love the Jumbos, which I do, tune in tomorrow afternoon. Yes, we'll be early tomorrow for the Saturday Showdown. No late night, as uh, it's a date night, so um, early probably right around lunchtime or a little bit after that, we'll be breaking 2022 Topps Jumbo Cases Saturday Showdown style where the lowest numbered card gets all the cards in the case. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Friday, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.